Hello and welcome to the Blocker Plays. What is Attempt X? I don't know. There have been a few now of our um, sweet, sweet Kandar campaign. So, we know the usuals by now. Kill off the fort. Mill focus. Kill off the horse. Tell these guys to go privateer. Genoa. Why the hell? No, that's okay. Cool. Ready, steady. No. This. Yeah. And that. And we go say, yo, I want to be your. Huh. You don't want to be my overlord. What about you? Fine. If it lets me have a position from which to attack Circassia, I accept your overlordship. Now, would you like my boats? 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 Well then, to the Italians. And on the one in a million chance that Crimea doesn't eat that before I declare. Speed up. Now, would you like my boats? 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 Good. Because I don't. <laughs> and speed up. And try and generate our claim. Ottomans do usual Ottoman things. Are you can declare on Georgia any day now? No. What about me? How about you warn me? Now, actually, looks like I might be able to get this declaration on Theodoro off. In which case, I'm going to want an army. Now we do the usual thing here. And here. Damn it, he's going after Circassia first. Because they joined a trade league. Oh, you bastard. Well, this inter it opens up a new and interesting question. What happens if I try to declare war on someone? If I try and... Tr uh, if he vassalizes him, he's already my overlord as a tributary. Will he get called in a war into a war against me when I'm already his tributary? I don't know.
Sure. Morale up. Wait. Over here, please. position to declare this war. for me. I will prefabricate here and here. Actually, that one's probably a bit adventurous, and instead we should do Georgia. Give up your war, you can't get anything. Well, I don't need my army maintenance during this time. There we go. So I also want to keep an eye out on George's army. That is not friendly, Ottomans. Could vassalize, but then I assume that I get called in against my own overlord. <sighs> Which I don't want to do. At least not unless I got up to the same number of units and had the better tech. Which we might be able to do. I mean, I'm in no rush. about halfway through this year if it becomes sensible we will build up to 14 units and prepare to join the war against our supposed overlord Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks feasible. Okay, we need to raise that maintenance. God, that hurts. <coughs> Why would you vassalize them, Ottomans? That's not... That's not something you normally do. Yeah, I get it. It's costing me a lot of money. A lot of money. An absurd amount of money. Sing. Well, screw me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Start improving with our very unhappy vassal. Good boy.
Ooh, have you decided to join in? Good. Less good. I need to trick Genoa <clears throat> to helping with this siege. Which means I need to do it until he gets locked. There we go. <clears throat> now he won't leave. Oh my god, he left. You bastard. Since when does the AI do this? Tell Circassia this is his job. Yes! GG! Well played, Crimea. Now, we do not need full maintenance anymore. Actually, we kind of do. <laughs> Until we're, um... You can be mothballed, though. Until these are back at sufficiently full strength that we can siege. Good. Now, yo, Great Horde, I love you, and I would like to be your vassal uh, tributary once this is over.
Oh, well done, fighting your war to a standstill. Ugh, needs slightly more. Yo, come help. Oh, thank you, Genoa. Actually, I probably don't need to support my army at all if Genoa's gonna help. As long as I don't hit zero men, <clears throat> we're pretty safe. Austria get the Begundian inheritance. And we say it's time to end the episode. So, we have one vassal and we're about to grow big and strong in the Crimea. Due to some sneaky tributary tactics. Which has actually kept the Ottomans off our back for a long time. I'm surprised. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you'll join us again soon. Bye bye.